Now the economic order quantity EOQ. What is the equation of EOQ? Economic order, first, what it helps to determine? It helps to determine that when, once we reach at a reorder level, so we know that we need to place a new order. Now the next question is how many units we should order? So basically EOQ will tell us about our order size or what should be the optimal order size for our organization. That every time when you will going to place an order based on this EOQ order size, so this will be the most optimal level. How to decide or how we should find out that whether it's an optimal level or not, total cost of inventory or total inventory related cost should always be equal to ordering cost plus holding cost. Agree with this? Yes, sir. Okay. So if we are going to place an order based on EOQ order size, so at this point, our this inventory related cost will be at minimum level. See, in ordering cost and holding cost, we do not consider the purchase cost. Why? Because this is irrelevant. Whatever is your order size, per unit purchase price, you have to pay anyway. So that's not our problem. But how ordering cost and holding cost will get effect? If you are giving big orders, then your ordering cost will be lower and holding cost will be higher. How come? Let me give you an example. For example, my demand or annual demand for the year, I'm just giving an example here. My annual demand is 10,000 units, for example. I already calculated that holding cost of per unit is for example, 1.50 dollar per unit. And ordering cost per order that I'm going to place will be $5 per order. Now this information is already given. Now see, we know that our demand is 10,000 units per year. And definitely we need to give orders. So what options we have? We can place one order only in a whole year, get all the 10,000 units, and then hold all those 10,000 units throughout the year. Agree with this thing? So we only need to place one order. So if we are placing one order, so then what will be the situation? For example, here, first the ordering cost. If we are placing one order, so 10,000 units, divide by one, this will give us our total orders, which will be 10,000, not divide by one, divide by 10,000, because we are placing one order. So total demand divided by total order size. So we will going to place one order in a year. And cost per order is $5. So total ordering cost will be $5 for the year. How I calculated this? Total annual demand divided by quantity. Quantity means the order size. Multiply ordering cost per order. This is the way how I get $5. Agree with this thing? Yes, sir. Okay. Then the holding cost. Holding cost can be the average cost of our invention. So in case if we are going to place only one order throughout the year, so we need to hold 10,000 units. So what we can do, 10,000, take an average of that. Because throughout the year, you will not be holding 10,000 units. At the start of the year, you start the year with the 10,000 units, then you keep using the inventory on a weekly basis or monthly basis, and it keep reducing it until at the end of the year, it gets to zero. So let's take an average of that, 10,000 divided by two into holding cost per unit. So how much will be the holding cost now? So 10,000 divided by two, 5,000 units. Holding cost per unit is 1.50. 7,500, sir. So 7,500 units. 
So what we get from this, that if we place one big order throughout the year, so our ordering cost and holding cost, ordering cost will be one point, sorry, five dollars. Ordering cost will be $5 and holding cost will be 7,500. So total cost or total inventory related cost will be 7,505. Agree with this thing? Uh, yes, sir. Now this is one situation. The second situation is I decided to place many orders during the year, but in small quantities. That every time I want to place an order of uh, let's say 1000 units, for example. So then how much will be the ordering cost? Total demand is 10,000 units. Every time my order size will be 1000. How many orders I need to place? 10 orders throughout the year. And mm -hmm. per order is five. So ordering cost will be $50. And how much will be the holding cost at any point in time? Every time I will be receiving 1000 units and average of this will be 500 units and holding cost per unit is 1.50. So 1000 divided by two 500 units into 1.50. So I will get 750. Now this is the second scenario that in, instead of one order, if I'm going to place 10 orders, so my ordering cost will be now $50 and my holding cost will only be 750. So how much will be my total inventory related cost now? 800. 800. Okay. So see how much is the big difference is there. If I place one order because of higher holding cost, it will be 7505 for the whole year. But if I'm placing 10 orders, it will be $800. Agree if with on this? The whole, yes, but on the whole you save 495. But still, still, I don't know that is whether 10 orders is the optimal level or not. What need to be optimal level? See, try to understand this thing that ordering cost and holding cost, both are having reverse relationship with the agent. When ordering cost will increase, holding cost will decrease. How come? For example, if you need to decide to place 10 orders, for example, as compared to one order. So obviously you need to place more orders and ordering cost will increase. But at the same time, when you are placing more orders, your ordering cost is increasing. But at the same time, you need to hold smaller number of units because every time you will be having thousand units instead of having 10,000 units for the whole year. So because of, as you are ordering in small quantity, so order cost will, ordering cost will increase, but at the same time, holding cost will decrease. But if you're only placing one order, your ordering cost will be really low at this point because you're only placing one order. But at the same time, as you place a bigger order, so ordering cost will decrease, but holding cost will be massive then, will be extraordinary. So as the ordering cost will increase, holding cost will decrease. If holding cost increase, ordering cost decrease. So these both costs are having a reverse relationship with each other. So what should be the optimal level? The optimal level for the total cost will be, the total cost will be the point where total cost will be the minimum when, when ordering cost will be exactly equal to holding cost. So the total inventory related costs will be minimum when the ordering cost will be exactly equal to the holding cost. Now consider if we are placing one order, ordering cost is $5 and holding cost is 7,500. But if we increase the number of orders, so ordering cost will increase, but holding cost will decrease. So what will be the optimal point for the total cost? Their ordering cost will be exactly equal to the holding cost. And how we can find out that point? That point we can find out with the EOQ, economic order quantity, will tell us scientifically that point. Clear with this thing? Yes, sir.